Welcome back to Pensacola Bay Center. And welcome to Champ Week with the Jaguars taking on the Raging Cajuns, 13 and five, and the number two overall seed in this event, trying to make a return trip. These two teams did meet in the regular season twice. You mentioned one of the games. But as we all know, when you meet somebody for a third time, Mark, Red, Louisiana, and White, we're underway here from Pensacola. Moore, who plays so much bigger than his six foot one frame, hard to stop when he's going downhill, and he lives downhill. Step back three on the way and knocked down. That's a young man who has struggled in this tournament. And Samuel has the body to push Brown away from the block. There's a steal, quick hands by Tyrell Jones behind the back, leaves it off for White. White gets it to go with the left hand. Plenty of shots tonight. And there's a steal. That's Lewis, takes it all the way and banks it home. Cajun's great offensively. That time we saw some great defense by Louisiana. Inside and a two-hand slam for Samuel. Still nervous. Oh, great defense, smothering defense that time. Brown got it back, had it rejected by Samuel. Back out on top, Folks misfires on a three, and then Samuel boards it. Now he wants it down low, bellied up by Brown. Instead, it's going to be Jones into the corner, a three ball. Yes! Knocked down by Isaiah Moore. Double team, Brown again. Spin move and a beautiful layup off the window and in for Folks their rhythm offensively so far every time Jordan Brown 21 and white has touched it he's been doubled three ball gets the friendly pounce to make folks be a three-point shooter folks now three for three eight points and again nifty footwork by Isaiah Moore to just get that shot off we haven't even played eight minutes pull up jumper misfires offensive rebound into the hands of Brown 15 footer there's his first basket well that's a good sign for Bob Marlin Louisiana back in the championship game for the second straight year they had a heartbreaking defeat to Georgia State last year and all of a sudden it's raining three on the shoelaces of his left sneaker I mean that'll beat flowers and chocolate any day there's Brown now he's starting to get Brown more involved in the offense. Two baskets, he's got four. Brown starts out at one elbow. It's a horn set. They scream for him kind of diagonally. And so he's able to get the ball before any kind of help. Or... Here's Brown showing a little mid-range game. Look out, Jordan Brown is heating up. Six points now. Two run gives the Cajuns their first lead of the night. Inside, stolen away, great anticipation. Here come the Cajuns. Four-point lead for the underdog, South Alabama. Eight and a half to go here in the first half. It's Jones fighting the big man. Beautiful action. A fourth knee surgery on the same knee, so he's had to really fight through that. You'll notice that large brace on his left knee, not the same type of explosiveness that he once had. In rehab. Folks, nifty move. Themis Folks, the 6'2 sophomore. The best offensive big this season in the Sun Belt Conference. Straight on three. Got it. Knocked down. Middle of the ring right now, just duking it out. Totally. We got haymakers on both sides, and we've got a big time swat that time by Samuel. Three on the other end. Kobe Julian. Jaguars up by four with the basketball. Downhill comes Moore. Leaves it off for a teammate and sets up the three. South out. It's the nippiness, the creativity of Isaiah Moore setting up his teammate. Post up a different player and bring Brown late to the action. And you got to shoot that three. Brown blocked from behind. How about this isolation for your six foot one point guard? <laughs> There he is, backing in the bigger opponents. Beautiful feed and the finish! Playing in the first game. Well, Kearing had 15 in his absence. But again, it's the creativity of Isaiah Moore. On their defense, it's a little more aggressive. They're challenging passes a little bit more. You can't let him get the ball there. 
these fakes he throws at you, and everybody falls for it. Yeah, Charles fell asleep, got a little lock need. Fortunate. Yeah, there was a foul call. And they did give Brown a foul his third. There's Jordan Brown. Eight points now for Jordan Brown. That's the first time. So I'd like to see Brown do more of a rim run. Right down the middle of the floor, turn around and plant yourself. Instead, he turns it over. Sloppy pass. That's the third turnover. Shot clock under 10 for Jones. Dicing and slicing his way into the basket of the finish. Folks weaving and sneaks it in on the reverse layup. Nifty move that time by Themis Folks. Crossover. Pump fake, shot off the glass and in. Folks heating up and so too are the Cajuns. It's a two-point game. Double team quickly. Samuel gets it back, throws it up there, and gets it to go with two on the shot clock, plus the foul. 13 point. Yeah. A little heartbreak hotel before they found a groove. <laughs> Speaking of finding a groove, Jordan Brown can find his groove at any time. Let's take a back, another look. Here comes the double, but it's not the same guy. So it's a baseline move, spin back to the middle. An ocean of red in the stands. The main color for both these teams. And red hot from downtown. Yeah, you feel like at some point the seal is going to be broken. Louisiana's going to go on a run. Beautiful feed. Down low, and there's the finish. Full throttle in the front court. Brown from 15. Pops out. Offensive rebound and stick back for Lewis. High low with the two bigs. Lewis missed Brown. Reverse layup spun in there. But the script has flipped because here in the second half, Louisiana has shot 63%. White determined to get to the basket and takes it strong. Put up some points here in the second half. Approaching 10 minutes to go here in the Sun Belt Championship. D3! That wasn't ready for that level, and then he transfers down to a mid-major. He was the Pac-12 freshman of the year. Great shot by Jordan Brown there. Working around. Well, that time passing up the three was more. Instead, he's going to do what he does best. Play down him. The speed at which he takes the ball from off the bounce to his release point is lightning quick. And then finding daylight. Driving lanes are open for the Cajuns. Moore bullies his way in there and kisses the glass. And according to Kim Palm, he's number four in the country in terms of percent usage. You can see why. Oh, goodness. Moore threads the needle to Kevin Samuel. Those missed so far for the Jaguars. No double. Paint touch Brown. Now the double comes late. Kicks it back out. Open three on the way. Got it! Moore slices, dices, <laughs> bucket. Oh, goodness. Talk about grinding, he worked his way around several jobs where he got the one that he wanted. Trying to lead his Jaguars here, but there's Terrence Lewis who just came off the bench. Hit the rim twice, and then a steal. Here's Parham. Trying to find a teammate. Parham says, no, I'll take it. That's been improving this league. He wants to see the Sun Belt be more than just a one-bid league, which is what it is right now. Great defense, quick hands, and a steal that time by Tyrell Jones. Well, if you're the raging Cajuns, folks, who's had a great game. But he coughs it up. Under a minute to go. A chance to tie. Jones to the rack. Jones draws the foul. Folks, bleeding clock. Shot clock under 10. Folks. Leaves it. Jumper is good for Dalcourt. Final shot on the way. Raging Cajuns are going to the big dance. That will do it for us for Mark Wise and our entire spectacular ESPN crew. This is Mike Morgan saying so long from Pensacola. The Rage and Cajuns are going dancing and we are sending you out to BYU St. Mary's. So long everybody.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.